It looks like Henry's going to be the Cowboys, and the Browns will be controlled by Kretobin. Get ready, get ready. Where, where, where is the chat's head at on this one, Scott? Let, let's just get it out of the way. Where you at, chat? Give me a one if you got Henry taking this. Uh, give me a two if last year's Madden Challenge champion Kratobin's going to walk away with the W. One for Henry, two for Kratobin. Where your head's at? And we will be keeping a close eye on all three of these games going on simultaneously. There's more than three games going on at once, by the way. Wow, look at that chat, Scott. They are flying ones and twos and twos and ones. And somebody put a three in there. They didn't get the memo. Troll. Troll gang. Kurtobin will start with it first. Would love to prove that his belt run a year ago was the real deal. See if he can do it in regs here in Madden 20. And he's using the high-powered Browns. And Chubb will bounce his way to the 32-yard line. That's a quick seven. Is that Kratobin in that eye form close? Is it a little audible? I think, I think the chat's rooting for a flood <laughs> either way. Like, whatever's going to happen, just make it happen quickly. Get to that Kiv class. Someone said press three for Kiv. <laughs> I don't blame him. It's, a, it's tough. It's a, it's a good problem to have. I'll great say that, Great problem Scott. to have. There's so many great competitors. There's Landry. We'll haul it in at the 36-yard line. So back-to-back, -back, good plays for Kurtobin. And this is what we saw for him when he made that great run last year. Just steady as it goes. Everything is steady Eddie for Kurtobin. And you see that in his temperament when you talk to him. Uh, Lights talked about it at the top of the show. He's just a young man that, you know, he, he doesn't, you know, give you the big game speech or anything like that. Just seems calm, cool, collected, focused at the task at hand, a true competitor. Someone I mean, said I, press the Ocho for Bugs. <laughs> Shout out to Bugs. <laughs> I mean, we even saw it. Um, I don't know what he was, a better basketball player or a better Madden player. Oh, Henry's got it! And Byron Jones will do what a Byron Jones does and picks it off at midfield. Henry in business. Look at 16-year-old Henry. He's from Illinois, about an hour outside of Chicago. Currently the number one player on the Mutt leaderboards. I believe it's on Xbox. Started streaming a little bit. And it's not every day where someone gets all these expectations put on them, Scott, and they're able to deliver. But so far, Henry's been able to deliver on those expectations. Well, gentlemen's agreement. Now they're going to have some opportunity here to set their audibles. It's going to be first and 10 from the 50-yard line for the young Henry, just 16 years old. Can he follow in the path of some of these youngsters like Pavid? And Trini. I'll tell you, Scott, every now and then I look behind me, on, behind this stage that we're at, and you see all these players still here. We still got a packed house here at the Arlington Esports Arena. Community having a good time here at the Madden Classic. A lot of high-level Madden. This is what it's all about. I mean, part of your registration is that you just get to come and watch three days. I mean, you get to get to play some games, too. But if it doesn't work out for you, you didn't get the opportunity to Ooh, hang out and see hit. some great Madden for the rest of the weekend. That's worth the price of a mission. I'm with you, Scott. If, if you're an MCS fan or a competitive Madden fan, I can't stress it enough. If you have the opportunity to ever come to an event like this, like the Madden Classic, go ahead and do it. It's just such a phenomenal experience. You learn so much. You meet so many people. And you just get to interact with the community. And that's one of the beautiful things about Madden, Scott, is no matter how many different walks of life people come from, we still have one thing in common, and it's this game. Getting to the edge there on second down. He'll bring up a third and five at the 45 for Henry. So you'll have Dak Prescott in the gun. He's going to flip the script. Look at the focus of both of those players, Scott, on the right side of your screen. Go, uh, Elliott once again makes a man miss. Oh, he might have got pushed back. 
I think it's still going to be a first down, first and 10 at the 40-yard line. In forward progress. And Zeke says, keep feeding me. All white unis here for Henry. He'll mark it at the 40, first and 10. Tavon will motion to the right. Prescott, they pick up the blitz, but they can't pick up the secondary guy coming off the edge. It's Vernon with a big sack. Quarterback meat tastes sweet. It's a big sack right there from Kratobin. See how Henry handles the second and 18, Scott. Passing situations aren't the best situations for the Cowboys. What a dot! Stepped up in the pocket, calm, cool, and collected. Crispy route up the seam with the possession catch. And I love seeing pocket work like that. The step up, the sidestep. Got Dak looking like Tommy Ball game out there. Laser beam for the first down. They'll mark it at the 25, first and 10. And here comes Zeke. Boom. Randall, press F in the chat. He's out of here. First down, eight yard line. And there's a smile. When you get a tremendous stiff arm, you can't help but smile. I love seeing some of these guys coming out in the bunch and then audible and back to that single back double so they can actually run the ball. It's a very effective way to run out of that 11 personnel set. High formation, little motion. Good defense. And a good job. Crank it down on the stretch. That'll be a second and goal. Push him back to the 12 yard line. Second and goal. Prescott. In the gun, the bunch is to the right. And that's where he'll go with Zeke. Zeke trying to cut it back. Our bar to touchdown. Feed me. That's not a good sign for Tobin. Yeah, Christian Lomenzo, last year's Madden Challenge champion, now finds himself in a situation where he got the ball first, turned it over, and let up a touchdown. So Henry going to get it at half with the lead. If you're Tobin, you need to be able to respond here. Hillard out to the 20. And we've wind this clock all the way down to just 16 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Scott Cohen, RG, here with you as only 64 players remain. We will get down to just six by the end of the night. A few hours away from the top 16, and that'll happen this evening here live from Arlington, Texas. Been an amazing day thus far. If you love upsets, three of last year's belt winners ousted from the tourney. A couple more belt winners from years gone by. Still rolling along in the tournament. Serious Mo, Kiv. I believe those are only the only belt winners that are still around. Mo. Who else we got? Tobin. Toby, I always forget about this kid. So we got Tobin, we got Kiv, we got Sirius Mo, who won the first belt back in San Francisco in Madden 16 on a interception of Skimbo in overtime to close that one out. Oh, bad read. And Callaway Ooh. somehow holds on, got away with one, cross midfield to the 48. Callaway with that step on the linebacker. I know he looked covered. He's just able, it's him versus the linebacker. He's able to make the play. And that's a fortunate catch right there by Kratobin. Those aren't the type of reads you want to make your living off of. Over the head of the former Notre Dame Fighting Irish standout linebacker. Smith couldn't get there. And there's Nick Chubb. And this time he'll get bottled up by Smith. And that'll bring up a second and nine at the 46 yard line. Beast Mode Max still in the tournament. He's he, actually that, in the winner's bracket. Yeah, that, that's we another, have, we have, a belt have, winner right there. You can't forget about the Mac. We haven't said a lot about Beast Mode Mac. I think you got Kiv, Mac, Kratobin, and Mo. the only belt winners left here at the Classic. So we've had four ousted and four Dot. still making Whoa. a move. And a big-time hit on the back end. 
That'll bring up a third down. I've been preaching it all day long, all tournament long, Scott. You got to be able to click on and make those plays. And there's another example of it right there from young Henry. The reflex skills of these players is just on another level than what you see from your typical online head-to-head -head game. Mayfield, wheel route. Oh, he almost got yet. Fourth and nine. Henry's talking to himself. So how many of those can he get away with? Second time he's thrown it. Some point. It's going to be easy pickings. Mayfield steps, throws low oh, ball to and Landry, accurate. and it's a turnover on downs. What it was right there, you saw the text. It's a pressure and accurate. Even though there was no sack, Henry got enough pressure around Mayfield. It rattled him a little bit. Ends up throwing an inaccurate pass. It's going to cost Kratobin. Miles Garrett able to shed the block and make the stop for a loss of two. That'll bring up second and 12. 242 to go here in this first half. Henry will get the rock for the second time. Look at this a little single back spread. I don't know if I've seen this all tournament. He's passing out of it too. Looking, looking, trying to play oh, back the field, and it's a fumble, but it's recovered by Henry. Trying to get a little too cute right there against Kratobin. Almost turned the ball over. Now here's a big third and 17. This is how you get momentum back if you young Christian Lomenzo. Hits the flat. And what a hit. Bring up fourth down after the big time hit stick. Hey, Kratobin can play some D. Make no bones about it. Yeah, yeah, he does good stick work on defense. And look at Henry, he's getting aggressive right here. Momentum play for Kratobin. Two high safeties here on fourth and 11. Prescott, they pick up the blitz. And Amari oh. Cooper <laughs> will move the chains at the 43. Here we go. What poise by Henry. Stays in the pocket, picks up the blitz in a game of inches. The DB just misses it. And a possession catch from Amari Cooper for the first down. So that'll bring up a first and 10. Under 90 seconds to go now in the half. Both teams with still all their timeouts. To close out the half and Zeke Elliott will get it on the inside zone. Oh, and Williams just says, Ole, touchdown Cowboys. That's frustrating right if you're right there, if you're Kratobin. It looked like good run defense. He had a couple opportunities to make a tackle. It doesn't work out for you. And now you find yourself down 14-0 against a young phenom. And I know Cleft the Gods probably <laughs> the guy people would consider the hottest player on the circuit. But I don't think Henry's too far behind with the way he's been playing. It might be 1A and 1B. Between Henry and this guy right here, Zeke Elliott making moves. Henry trying to prove he belongs in that cleft the God conversation. And if you're playing with the Cowboys, this is right where you want to be. 14 points and a shutout here in the first half. Right up Why? midfield at the 47. There is Jarvis Landry, the former LSU Tiger. Hall today. You. They got Georgia Southern. Spent some time in Baton today. Rouge. I'm an, I'm an LSU guy, man. Got to Tigers. Uh, got to respect. I know Georgia Southern's not, not a powerhouse, but they certainly were when they were at the Soccer. Division Two level, Division One Double A. Second and ten. 44 seconds to go. Still has all his time out. Oh, no. Oh. Should have been a pick. Brown could not haul it in, and Henry can't believe it. Henry's tough, man. He might have changed the song on the playlist after that. Like, I, I got to hear something else. Look at him. The song ain't it. Drop pick, ball that could have been interception, and 
Henry just focuses and locks in on the next play, showing some maturity for his age. That could have been the ball game. Yeah, he's not kicking or screaming about it. He's on to the next play. That's the type of attitude you need to have. Corner route to Landry, and he'll step out of bounds at the 27. He's in field goal range with 35 ticks remaining in the half. Fourteen to nothing. How big would a touchdown be before the half for Kurtobin? Last year, winning his first belt. Man. And there's a guy by the name of Demarcus Lawrence. I don't care if it's regs, mutts, whatever, he's a beast. He's absolutely a beast. He's a key factor in why people play with the Cowboys. Cowboys, one of the only two teams that have a zoned out corner in Byron Jones and an elite pass rusher in Demarcus Lawrence making their defense really strong. Mayfield is going to run for a few, and he'll slide down. That puts him back in field goal range. He will use a timeout. It'll be a third and 10 with 23 seconds to go in the half. Cannot take a sack here on third down. For Tobin, he showed spurts, Scott. He just needs to keep the drive consistent. It's one big gain and then a loss. A nice gain and then a loss. He needs to keep the ball moving. You got to get this man-to-man -man coverage on the outside, but this time he throws it inside to OBJ. That's going to be shy of the first down, fourth and one. And you got to run this all the way down, call a timeout, and take your three. Smart. Not getting ahead of himself, getting some points on the board. Remember, Henry's got the ball to start this second half. Tobin's played decent defense, though. I mean, if he, if he gets some points there, you come out to start the second half, you get yourself a stop, a little momentum. You're not going to get it all back in one play. It's going to be a 35-yarder, and the kick is up, and it is good. And Hertobin finally gets on the board here at the end of the half. And James Coe, we got to know what's going on in these other games. Oh, my goodness. I mean, we got great games going on. It's the young Kiv. It's taking on Clef the God. And how about this? Now, Clef. Throwing this ball, Kiv known for his offense. How about the pick six here? Defense on full-time display as he takes the early lead in the first quarter. Seven to zero would be the score there. That's how they would finish the first quarter. And how about this? Lamar Miller taking it to the house. He would tie it at seven apiece. Each team has a touchdown. Each team has an interception. We send it back to Scott Cole and RG. Wow. Good games going on all around, 14 to three in this one. And Henry is gonna think about those drop picks and what could have been in that first half. And he's gonna get the ball to start here at the 28 yard line, first and 10 for Henry. He knows a touchdown here might end this one. And he goes to Zeke, Zeke on the inside zone, arm bars one, he's gonna head to the sideline. 25, 15, five, touchdown, Zeke Elliott. The former Buckeye, all the way to the end zone one more time, and it's 21 to three, pinning this PAT, and it's right down Main Street. 72 yard run for Zeke. It's just not what you can let happen if you're Kratobin. You take your three before half, you're coming out expecting to just be able to play some good defense, get yourself back in the ball game, and right away, Henry just rips one for a big game. Henry didn't say it, but that, this is a get off my field kind of run. <laughs> well said. We've seen it time and time again. Zeke Elliott, the arm bar, and then the speed to take it to pay dirt. First and 10 for Katobin. He's on tilt. Chubb. You got to get that stiff arm going if you're going to run with Chubb. Second and four. Goes to the gun. Bunch to the right. Braxton Miller solo to the left. Finds himself down 18. Can't get silly with the passing game. And he'll run it with Baker and he'll slide down for the first down. I low-key love Henry's reactions on anything successful that Kurtobin does. First and 10. So much hype behind this Browns team in this upcoming season. 
the pocket. And Landry. All it in at the 41 yard line. That was an impressive pocket right there by Kratobin. But this is what he's been doing on offense all game. It's a big game. And he's Cannot usually put following it up with us. Just can't put two plays back to back. Exactly. Needs a big score here. Watch out for Jarvis Landry coming right up the seam. He'll go to the corner once again. And this time, he gets baited by Brown. And Henry might have just ended this ball game. Yeah. It, it, you got to check that RB. I know you're down 21 to 3, but uh, you've, you've thrown that route 97 times. I'm just going to mention the elephant in the room here. <laughs> if we have the technical capabilities <laughs> to get the Kiv and Clef, it might be time. Prescott gets it down to Cobb, will pick up the first down. The crazy thing is that's just Henry's fourth pass. He's four for four. The running game with Zeke Elliott has been dominant. And they'll go back to Zeke, this time right up the gut. And they'll drop him at the 50-yard line. He's averaging 16.5 a carry, three touchdowns. Yeah, right now you see Henry puts on that chew clock, and that's what you got to do. If you're Henry, just milk this clock, let it wind out. This game's over. GG, night night. Bye, Felicia. This one's over. Henry making a statement here against Kratobin. So 28 to three here, Henry looks like he's gonna roll. So let's check out Young Kiv and Clef the God. A live look in 14 to seven. Here is Clef with the ball trailing by a touchdown, a shot. We live a 